Good to be meeting you here in Budapest. Trigranite is obviously celebrating a, a 20th anniversary. Um, what's your views on what's happened in the market over the last 20 years? Actually, we could say that there's uh, a parallel thing with, with the markets changing, the markets growing with, with Trigranite. And maybe I would start with Trigranite. So if you say that in the past 20 years, uh, Trigranite has developed uh, in excess of 1.6 million square meters across the region, mainly in offices and, and retail, created a value of, of 2.5 billion uh, euros of uh, investments or, or value creation, uh, had been active in, in, in 11 countries. Uh, and we, we step back to 1997 and we look specifically the the Budapest market where let's say overall stock in, in offices class A offices was half a million. Today it's uh, 3.6, 3.7 uh, million square meters. In retail it was uh, 124, 125,000 square meters. Today it's eight to 900,000 uh, square meters. Then, then, then I think it's relatively clear that the uh, the market has uh, what is eight times as, as, as big as, as it was at that time. Uh, so I think uh, both the region, uh, real estate development and real estate as an industry went through uh, a great period of time in terms of growth, sophistication and maturity in, in the region. And there's been um, talk of record volumes um, in terms of investment. Um, both for uh, Hungary but also CE as a region. What's your sense of how the market is going to develop? Um, do you think the fundamentals are good? How do, you, how, how do you see the outlook? I mean, last year was a great year for Trigrant as well. I mean, we had two major transactions. Uh, one in Budapest, the ever largest office uh, transaction selling the Millennium City Center, which was developed by us and then uh, eventually come on uh, with Heitman since 2011 and uh, it was a 175 million euro transaction 70,000 square meters of offices in one go never happened before and we did another large transaction which is probably the largest one in in Poland with the Bonarka uh, city center uh, overall volume was uh, 380 million there uh, just on on that one transaction so I think that also shows that uh, the investment market is, is booming or was really booming uh, last year. Hungary had a record with 1.7 billion euros of, of, of investment. Poland was close to 4 billion. Uh, so I think these are interesting times and clearly there is an uh, increased interest uh, from, from investors. Yields have started, uh, I mean, in Hungary mainly, uh, there was a significant drop and, and we do expect further yield compression uh, on both markets. Nevertheless, uh, it's always difficult to suspect what will happen uh, since we are nine years from 2008. Uh, this business is cyclical, we have seen that. And, and probably we are at the end of the cycle, so we're definitely getting close uh, to the peak within the next 12 to 24 months. Nobody actually suspects the same things happening as have happened in 2008, but there is a consensus on, on some kind of correlation, uh, correction happening on these markets. We are in a very low interest rate environment. Although the U.S. started, the Fed started increasing base interest rates, there are predictions that the ECB will eventually have to follow suit, which means that uh, if inflation uh, kicks in, then uh, the, the gap between yields and, and uh, bonds or, or, or interest rates will narrow. And, and obviously there has to be some kind of a, a difference uh, between them in order to keep property still exciting for, for investors. So yield compression as a result of this might stop uh, and stabilize within the next uh, two, three years or maybe even bounce back uh, a bit. And because of this, it is uh, a question for acquisitions uh, of, of operating assets in the sense that if you have to underwrite four years or five years of holding period, 
where will the markets and yields be uh, in, in, in five years from now or where we will be uh, within the, uh, the cycle at that time. On the other side, uh, developments, I mean, what is driving really uh, development opportunities? It's usually talent demand and, and the financing environment. I mean, if we just specifically look at Budapest and Hungary and the office sector, uh, the financing rates, uh, terms and conditions have significantly improved over the past uh, 12 months. Uh, and there is talent demand. So we feel strongly about office development uh, in the next uh, two to three years in Budapest, uh, secondary cities of, of, of Poland, we're active in, in Krakow and in Katowice and also probably in Bratislava. Whatever happens, because uh, development yields are still much better uh, compared to, to the exit yield, so even if there is a correction in those, you're always more protected with your developments and the possibility to exit uh, with a profit e e even uh, within the next two, three years. Then if you're looking at the same with, with operating assets, which you might be buying now, expensive, at prime yields, but you wouldn't uh, need to be selling them three, four years from now when, when the environment might have changed. And. Um you're, you're launching a new development here, Millennium Gardens, um, large office development. What's driving that? Is, that, uh, is there increased demand for office space here in Budapest? Yes, however, I have to say we're talking about 37,000 square meters of GLA and it's in the Millennium City Center where we basically since 2005 have developed uh, in excess of 250,000 square meters uh, and uh, out of that this is what we have transacted uh, last year, uh, a large component of the offices. So it's a, a well-established market, sub-market within Budapest, uh, which was actually created by TriGranite. So we have a proven location, we have a proven uh, developer and, 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 and property manager, and the financing environment has uh, improved, as I've said. And yes, obviously, we are uh, being positive because when we went out to the market uh, and looking for pre-leases, we got very positive feedback from uh, tenants looking for space uh, in 2019. So I think it's a combination of, of, of everything. Arpad, thanks very much for sharing your views on the market with us today. Thank you. Thank you.